Caboose has arrived. I'm Conductor Clark. And I'm Ms. Janice. Hey, who wants to learn about the letter H? I do, I do! Hmm, now what can we do with the letter H? We can hula hoop! Or? Create a massive global hoax. <laughs> what Ernie's referring to is the Apollo 11 moon landing that supposedly, supposedly took place on July 20th, 1969. To quote Neil Armstrong, this is one small step for man. And one giant lie to mankind. Hello, <laughs> everybody. Hello. Hi, Ticket Taker Sam. <laughs> Sam's been riding the rails ever since mean old Microsoft stole his formula for Windows 95. Hey, Sam, I hear you've got a story for the kids. I sure do, Miss Janice, and it's a real whiz banger. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a president named Kennedy. <laughs> promised to put a man on the moon before the end of the decade. Mr. President, didn't you also promise civil rights? That's another story, Trevor. Now excuse me while I go sleep with Judith Exner. Meanwhile, poor inept NASA couldn't get a rocket into space. So, they turned to plan B. I'm LBJ. Boom! The end of the decade is here, and there's still no Americans on the moon. Those Ruskies are gonna beat us to it. I'll help you, Mr. President. Who the hell are you? I'm Stanley Kubrick, and I'll use the tricks I learned while filming the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey, to fake a moon landing. And we're the Mafia, and we'll fund your scam to build a secret soundstage in Las Vegas. Good. While people think they're in space, we'll keep the astronauts busy with whores and gambling. Then we'll pay them off, or brainwash them, or kill them. The end. Yay! Squawk? But is there any real proof it was a hoax? Squawk? Is this proof enough, Gully Bird? Wow! I used to fly the moon all the time. Hobo Dan! Hey, Hobo Dan. How did you fly to the moon? With the only real astronaut, Dr. Timothy Leary. <laughs> oh, Hobo Dan. Hey, that reminds me of a song. This old moon rocket ain't what it appears to be. Ain't what it appears to be. This old moon rocket ain't what it appears to be Because it was baked in a kiln in Japan <laughs> Thanks, Hobo Dan. That was fun credible. And the truth. <laughs> oh, oh, someone's ringing the doorbell. To the safe room, kids. To the safe room. Okay, that's all the time that we have for now. We'll be back with more reading later. Until then, the most important part of reading is... Reading, reading between, between the, the lines. lines. Sayonara, pigs. It's to be. you can read. The fun never ends.